Hey guys, 2384 Aviation here, and today I'm bringing you guys yet another video. Now today's video is going to be quite special. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the newest features on Airlines Manager. Now, I know the one you just saw in front of you right real quick was professional, and I know a lot of you are actually asking for me to do a video on professional mode. However, in the future, I will consider doing the video because right now there is actually a video um this one in particular that I want to discuss for Airlines Manager. So first of all, I want to address the elephant in the room. I know I've been gone for a few months now and I haven't done many videos, so I want to say I'm sorry for leaving you guys basically out of the uh, picture for a while and not being active here on YouTube. However, I will be trying to be more active here on YouTube with these Airlines Manager videos because I've decided it's probably the best idea I could do. And not to mention, but we're still in the situation that we are in since the beginning of March. Which YouTube doesn't like people saying, but it's okay. We're going to be doing today's video, and uh, that's that. So you probably noticed in the beginning, when I loaded up the game, it said Auction 1. Now you're probably wondering, what did Airlines Manager add into the video, or into the, into the game? Well, there's a new feature that allows me and allows you and allows everybody to do a certain really cool thing now first we're going if you want to do this really cool new thing you gotta go to aircraft acquisition and then you got the three categories you got aircraft purchase which if, as everybody knows you can purchase an aircraft like let's say i want to purchase like 30 airbus a380s so we'll go like price and we'll be like oh, i don't know whatever 8a380s three billion dollars well, there is also, if, if you know, the feature where you can go and lease an aircraft, where you can lease single aircraft. So let's say I'm like, uh, I want to lease a plane. Let's lease the Airbus A380 and do it for, I don't know, eight weeks. And the price to pay for the deposits is that much. And whatnot. You lease the aircraft you want. Well, there's actually now a third feature which you can do, and it's called the second hand market. And I've been approached by a lot of people to do a video on this, and I've decided. It's time for me to do the video, and it's uh, this has been in for a few um, weeks now, been implemented for a few weeks, and I gotta say, it's one of the coolest things I got in this game right now. And um, there's several features to this. Like, let's let's take a look at this uh, more in depth. So basically, secondhand market is like the eBay of this game. You can buy any plane you want in these liveries. So you got this really cool looking Canadian A380 which you could purchase, or not purchase, but you bid on these aircraft, like, uh, you know, you just bid on the planes. And uh, if you win the plane, you win it. There's a lot of really cool aircraft in this, actually. A lot of A380s, IL-76s, some 747s, and you got some normal aircraft, like the uh, Sukhoi SSJ-100s. You got the 747-400, the A220, 777-300s. Got a lot of aircraft in this, actually. A lot of really cool th uh, aircraft. You're probably wondering, huh, that's pretty cool. But do I have to pay AM coins? Which, if you don't know, some of the retro aircraft, you do have to pay AM coins for. So that's the, um, or not AM coins. You got to pay the little blue coins, which you can see in the uh, top of the, um, top of the uh, screen, which is like the uh, next to the money. So you can see I got 13 of those coins. They're really hard to come by, which is, um, you got to pay those coins along with money to buy let's say an aircraft like a concord however here on second hand market all you have to do is basically bid on it and that's it you just have to be the highest bidder basically to be able to get an aircraft so recently today i just won a 73 or a 727-100 which is um in the beginning it showed you it's coming in the mail now i'll be receiving it in about 20 minutes but this is a really cool feature, actually. Like, you can bid on aircraft now, any planes you want, basically. Like, let's say, oh, I want a 747-100. So you go 747, you can choose any category. We'll do the 100B. There is no 747s 100 at the moment, but I have purchased nine 747-100s from this. Let's say um, something more practical. Let's say, like, a DC-873. We'll go DC-873. You got a few DC 873s now. They're becoming a little bit more rare. We got a lot of these for the Christmas. When they released it on Christmas, they gave us a free DC 873. And then let's see the 727. Let's 
So we'll go with 727, which I purchased. There's a lot of 727s. We've got five of them. That's good. Quite a few. Really nice prices as well. It's like you can get one for 34 million. I mean, there's a few for 10 billion dollars. There's one for a billion dollars. You're probably wondering, huh, that's a lot of money for just one plane. Who's crazy enough to buy it? Well, I'll tell you there, young grasshopper. I am the crazy one to buy it because it is a 727. And the fact that you have to pay AM coins for these things and real money. Instead, this is the best way to purchase retro aircraft, like right here. Secondhand market, definitely recommend it. If we go here to my bids, these are aircraft I've bid on. So you, as you can see, the 707, 727, 100, DC-873, 747, the Dash 100. You got 727s, a lot of 727s. Then you got the Carvel, which I lost that bid, unfortunately. I lost all the bids for the Carvels. You got the 707s. There's a lot of DC-8s also that I bought. I bought the DC-8s when people were basically um, uh, selling a lot of them. So you can see I bought a lot of A380s as well. That's actually um, really cool that I got. I was able to get them in these liveries too. You could get these A380s in these specific liveries if you win them. And as you can see, here we'll go up to top a little bit. Really cool 727 liveries. And then the recent one I got is the 2020 livery. So I got two 2021, 2021 liveries. That's what these are on the 727 uh, 100s. It's pretty cool feature actually. Like you can get basically any aircraft you want when it's available on the uh, game. So again, if you want to know how you do it, you go over here. We're going to go aircraft and we'll go aircraft acquisition second hand market and i'm gonna do a little quick thing for you guys real quick so i'm going to basically let's say i want this a380 here i'm gonna bid an absurd amount i'm gonna bid 19 billion dollars because i am an absolute genius oh error it, it yeah it's ended we'll reload that real quick well, let's say i want to get this beautiful Oh, I'm probably, yeah, I can't get that at the moment. You see, that's the problem with bidding on these aircraft in the beginning. So let's say I want this 7A7, this beautiful 7A7. For the simplicity of it all, I'm going to buy it for $20 billion. I'm going to press bid, and my stupidness has just bid $20 billion on a plane. Now you're probably wondering, but dude, why are you spending $20 billion on a plane? Well, it's basically to show you how you can um, buy the aircraft and sell the feature that's basic, this is like, um, how do you say, eBay. It's like the eBay. You have to bid on a plane if you want it. Let's say you really want that 7878 in that really cool, I think that's Deerjet, uh, that Deerjet 7878 livery. What you got to do basically is you just got to bid the highest amount you can bid, and bam, we've won the auction because no, nobody bid over $20 billion, and I'm the stupid one that did. It's okay, though, boys. It's okay, because we're going to go over here, and we're going to take a look and see you. What we're going to do is we're going to resell that aircraft. We're probably not going to make a profit. Now, the reason why I bought it was basically because I wanted to just show you that if you bid the most that you can bid on a plane, you basically win it. I'm going to go back to secondhand market real quick. We'll see. And then it takes about 10 minutes to uh, basically say, hey, you won the aircraft. So we're going to wait a little bit. Uh, probably not going to be 10 minutes. Probably going to be like around 5. But I'm going to show you basically how you can sell an aircraft. So I'm doing this out of my own pocket because I don't really feel like selling this plane. But uh, we'll go my aircraft. Okay. So we're going to sell a plane. We're going to go to use, usage. As you can see, we have quite a few aircraft. We've got the 777-200ERs, which we finally purchased i've i purchased 50 of them so it's fine i'm gonna sell let's say i'll sell this one so we're gonna sell this and you could sell it immediately which is basically what everybody's been doing beforehand they've been selling it immediately getting the money that they get or you can sell it on the auction so we're gonna sell it and the minimum amount of time that i can put it for is two hours so we're gonna start the bid for this one at 40 so we'll do like 100 and let's check the prices there's a maximum of the minimum is 121 129 million maximums 258 million so let's put it in at 200 and i don't 
don't know, 235 million. So, the maximum income is uh, limited. So yeah, the maximum income is limited because you can't put something on bid for like $20 billion. It's just stupid. You gotta have it at like a low amount. So then you can have people be like, oh, cool, I'm gonna buy that. And so we'll sell, sell it. Begrudgingly selling it because I, I kind of didn't want to sell it, but as for an example, we'll go back here to aircraft acquisition. I'm actually gonna purchase another one considering I have 50 of them and I sold one. So let's just purchase one right now. So just to take away the headache, just get one. So I'm just gonna configure it. I don't put cargo on my aircraft because, well, I don't really care. And I've got a lot of questions from that, actually. Why don't you put cargo on your aircraft? That's because I've got to the point in the game where I can just buy cargo aircraft. So it's really fine. doesn't bother me. So we'll put this back to Oakland. And um, this is going to get into our next example. So when you purchase an aircraft and win an aircraft on the uh, auction thing. So you see here the seven, the triple seven two hundred er that I just purchased. It's going to take about five hours for me to finally get that plane. However, if you buy an aircraft on the secondhand market, you only have to wait one hour from when the, authority, the uh, market authorities allow it so that you've been able to purchase the aircraft to when it gets to your hangar and you're able to schedule it. They only do like a one hour time limit. It doesn't matter. It does it for every aircraft, which is extremely easy and good and efficient. But for every aircraft, it's just one hour you have to wait until you get it from secondhand market. So it's a little bit more worth it if you're trying to get an aircraft immediately instead of buying it uh, from the dealer in the game. So we got that aircraft sold. And let's go over here to aircraft acquisition in the secondhand market. And we will see the 777-200 is right there. So it's going to be another hour and 58 minutes before it's sold or unless you get to the situation where I got with the 737-900ER where it wasn't able to be sold, unfortunately, but I did sell it literally like right after. So it's a win-lose situation and you could sell usually the aircraft for two hours. Usually that's the amount of time I wait for these because I don't know. I just put them on for two hours. Now the auctions ended, yes, but the secondhand market authorities take around five to ten minutes to authorize if you got the aircraft or not. so it's been about i guess a couple of minutes and uh let's you can just uh, we'll take a look at oops, take a look at some of the aircraft we have here on bid that you can buy like you can get any aircraft practically there's a lot of cool things you can get a lot of cool liveries a lot of cool planes definitely recommend if you're trying to look for any of these definitely try and get them so you can see the classic aircraft you don't need to purchase some with am coins you just have to bid the highest amount of money you can bid no am coins just the regular monies and it's it's pretty cool so we'll go back here so yeah you're probably you guys yeah um, you're probably wondering where have i been well i've just been around i haven't been on youtube much as i should be and i'm kind of sorry about that um i know i should be on youtube a little bit more update you guys do more of these airline manager videos i want to thank you guys so much though for like i've been looking you guys have literally just destroyed the views on the airlines manager videos like the three airlines manager videos i've done they've got like the most views i've ever seen on my channel like guys thank you so i can't thank you guys enough I really appreciate that you guys really like the videos. I'm sorry I haven't been able to crank them out as I promised, but hopefully 2021 I can crank out a lot more. I'm probably going to do a professional mode one and a couple other modes because I know you guys like that. If we're here, I'll go over to my professional mode real quick just to show you that one. On my professional mode, I've actually... Oh, there are the settings notifications. Sorry about that, but... In my professional mode, if you don't know, I actually made this as an all retro aircraft um, one. So I got like the DC-8s, the 747 Classics, 707, the F-100s, the DC-3s, the Carvels, the MD-11s, you know, all the classic planes basically are in this one. And I, um, I'm planning to do a video really soon for this one. So you guys um, like that. So we'll go back to Tycoon to see if we get the plane. If we don't get the plane, that's fine. We'll wait a couple more minutes and I'll... Uh, 
keep rambling on, but I really want to thank you guys for watching the videos and doing all that. I wasn't expecting to get that many views on a video. I think it's over 40,000 views. Jeez, guys, like the time I saw when it was at 20,000, I was amazed. I was like, wow, thank you. I, well, I never expected this channel to get that many views and what now we're at what is it 475 476 subscribers like i i missed out on doing a two and a three even the 400 subscriber special i'm i'm sorry about that guys like i really wanted to do those subscriber specials but i've been able to do it on here on youtube because the youtube videos they actually are kind of hard to make considering i only have like a few resources to use to make these videos so I don't know, it's, it, but I thought that was really cool and really nice that you guys have been liking the videos and watching them. Makes me happy. Wow. Um, I guess we can uh, talk more about the airline. So as you can see here, we have, <laughs> I have, I haven't shown you guys the update in a while. I think the last time I updated you on the game, we had like, I don't know, 10,000 planes. We're at 15,000 now. I think last time we had... 20 hubs we're at 42 now i mean last night i bought one because i mean look at look at the value of how much money we have in this game and by the way you can't actually buy the money you actually have to earn it in games so that just shows you i've been playing this game for a long time since 2018 2018 of september so it's been easily two years oh it's loading and what's cool is that my rank has like gotten to like this much we're like the thousandth 1088th person in the world playing this game we're in that place in this uh in this one which is kind of cool i guess um yeah, that's it for the video it was it's pretty cool though with the um new second hand market feature because you know you can purchase any aircraft you basically want let's see if we uh actually i don't know if they're still Still going at it. It's still got to wait. But again, you can purchase basically any plane you want. You see the plane, you buy it, guys. You buy the plane. It's just the one recommendation I have is you got to make sure you have enough money first to buy it. And if you're doing this on pro, um, the professional mode, it's a lot different on professional mode. Like here, you can spend as much money as you want because it's tycoon. You make that money easy. But on professional mode money's a little bit more tight so you got to be a little bit more cautious on what you buy except for me i literally will buy a 707 i don't care about fuel efficiency all i care about is having cool retro planes so so they yeah that's that's that um thank you guys a lot for watching this video if you've watched it to the end um if you don't know our goal for 2021 is 1000 subscribers we can get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll be happy. <laughs> well, I'm happy now that you guys have almost gotten me up to 500 subs, which is amazing. I, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was I was expecting this channel basically to die out, but no. I'm still uploading videos. I'll probably upload more. I got an airport. I got special airport updates for y'all, so I'll probably upload those too. But yeah, I guess this is like a little bit of a channel update and an airlines manager video. So yeah. Really like the new feature. Shout out to Airlines Manager for adding that in. I don't know. I might get AM coins soon so I can get new liveries on every plane. Anyway, that's that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment your thoughts down below in the video. Also, make sure to comment down below what's the rarest aircraft you've purchased in this. And tell me what the aircraft was. If it was a special livery, comment that livery. And um, also... There were some questions I remember people were asking. Uh, people were suggesting to me to start hubs in uh, Indonesia, and then somebody suggested Dubai, and then a lot of people suggested um, Brazil, but I just want to come clear. Um, all the hubs are in the U.S., guys. Like, it's, it's not because I don't want to. Like, I have the hubs in Africa because I thought that was interesting, and I have the hubs in, in Central Asia. Australia is actually its own hub now we have finally this so we're gonna expand that hopefully soon but I I really just um kind of 
stick to the United States hubs. And there isn't really an airport in the U.S. that people have been, like, suggesting. So if you have an airport in the U.S. that you want me to use... And we're getting those notifications again, sorry. If you have an airport in the U.S. you want me to use, uh, put it in the comments below as well. Um, yeah. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at 2384 underscore aviation. Uh, 2384 underscore photography if you'd like photography or fly underscore KSIA which is still the model airport account and I've actually been building like the small miniature airports so hopefully we'll get an airport update soon so yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed today's video um I'll do a QA and a next episode because I don't know this one was just to show you off the new feature with the um, second hand market so yeah thanks guys for watching and doing all that really means a lot Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'm 2384 Aviation, and I shall see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, comments below. Later, guys.